Welcome to the sales enablement training on October 11th, where we are discussing today how to use customer case stories. This is one of the biggest tools that we have in our arsenal for, um, for sales and to help customers hear each other's stories. Can you guys see my screen where we've got our outline for today's session? We can. Perfect, thank you. So as you can see, we are gonna dive into three of our case studies today that are already live on our customer case story. At the end, I've got some snippets of some previews of some case studies that are up and coming. They're just not public yet. So I'll make sure that that's not recorded at that moment. So first off, our first case story is about Ticketmaster and how GitLab CI supported Ticketmaster up to weekly mobile releases. So the core of this story is that Friday evening, they needed to make a minor change to their mobile app and they realized it was gonna take two hours to get that done. And instead they realized, wait, we've got GitLab CI, let's see if we can try this out. And um, as you can see here, they thought, no problem, you can build a release locally in under three minutes, but because of their CI pipeline problems, it was really gonna take two hours plus that three minutes that it took. So they decided to use their GitLab CI and instead were able to then take the two hour process down to eight minutes. So as you can see, they can do their build and test in under eight minutes um, and also publish their artifacts. Less than eight minutes from commit to build, test and to generate. So they use other tools to help with code quality and whatnot, but the speed from that two hours to eight minutes, that's the key that we need to make sure that we are conveying is that GitLab can help speed you up. Our second story is by Axway, and they were using Subversion, and they wanted to be able, again, this is about speed, they wanted to be able to release faster, and so they onboarded 600 developers, migrated 3,000 projects, and increased their cycle time by 26%, or 20, times 26 so something that used to take a year now takes two weeks and as you can see they um, and if you haven't had a chance to read these I highly highly recommend we've got 11 case studies on the website as we speak so feel free to dive in use them and as I mentioned I've got more on the way um, for this for Axway it came down to best bang for the buck they decided that GitLab could give them the speed that they wanted at a price they really, really enjoyed. So let's make sure that we're sharing that story. They also had successful adoption. As you can see right here, Eric mentioned, he's like, everybody was asking for it. Now every single developer is running on GitLab without enforcement. So high adoption rates, happy developers. It's not the first time I've heard this today. Today, I spoke with a different customer. And then this morning, or now we've got Paceler AG, they switched from Jenkins to GitLab and um, were able to release four times more frequently. They um, updated their Git, accelerated from three major releases to, to CD and uh, monthly releases, and they now can have um, self-serviced um, QA. Sorry, my Slack is going crazy. Um, they were able to solve some of their um, instability and performance issues with GitLab, and they were able to provide modern um, version control uh, and QA automation with GitLab. So as you can see, these stories are a great way to reach out and have them in your toolkit. Um, as you can see here, Greg Champion says, every branch gets tested, it's built in the pipeline. As soon as you commit your code, the whole process kicks off to get it tested. The amount of effort involved is actually getting to the newest version and actually getting to the newest version that you're supposed to be testing, whether you are a developer or a QA engineer is minimized immensely. So they can have everybody on the same page really quickly, really easily, which increases their speed. Um, so they've also, again, it's an adoption story. The developers are super excited to use GitLab. It's being used like crazy. And now there's a bunch of cool stuff going on with it. Everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. Now I want to share, um, 
a little bit about some of the um, upcoming case studies. So if you can stop the recording, it's been wonderful to speak with everybody live, but now 